Hey howdy folks, welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. No particular theme to today's video, just a couple of replays that amused me greatly and uh, hopefully will amuse you too. We're going to kick off proceedings with the Hell Pig. He is in the ELC AMX, that tiny little tier 5 French troll of a tank. It's, um, I've forgotten the name of the map. Um, Siegfried Line, yeah that's it. <laughs> I knew it all along, yeah of course I did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, sudden rush of shit to the brain. Um, yeah, Siegfried line, and it seems to be assault mode, and he's on the defending team. So he uh, rushes the flank, gets some sneaky spots in at the start of the game. Unfortunately, of course, he's in an ELC, and he's so fast that nobody else on his team is actually in position to take advantage of all his spotting, but it all makes points, and points make prizes. At least the team now know what's coming on this flank, although there's no guarantee they're going to be able to do anything about it, or even attempt to do anything about it, such as the nature of random battles in World of Tanks, but he has been spotted. Somebody just took a pot shot at him, which makes this all the more amusing. Look at this guy. Not paying any attention. Oh, and he's on fire. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> oh, 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 actually, let's not get too carried away. Um, no, this guy is not paying any attention whatsoever either. Well, all right. Hello! <laughs> Here's this dose of surprise butt sex you ordered. Although how that was a surprise, I have no idea. He was right there. Why, did, why didn't you see him? Now, decision time. There's a, there's a flat panzer over there. And he's already taken a pot shot at him. And these guys look like they could use some assistance. Artillery's on the run. There's a Jackson on the hill trying to fight these guys off. There's three of them down there. But Hellpig's only going to have to deal with two of them. The enemy ELC is going to get taken out. So check out this T-34 and Panzer IV-H. Just casually drives up to the Panzer IV-H and plants one into his side. I think they know he's here now. Watch this. Panzer behind him, T-34 on the flank. What's he going to do? Which way is he going to go? Panzer makes the decision for him. <laughs> T-34 paying no attention whatsoever. He's dead. Panzer IV misses his next shot. Oh dear. Here's that dose of whoop that you ordered too. <laughs> this tank, man. Nine times out of ten, this would have ended in disaster. But this tank is worth it for just that one time out of ten when it doesn't end in disaster. But those weren't the only three tanks. The ELC is dead now as well, that were coming over this flank. There's the two British tank destroyers that he spotted as well. And whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. Look at him scuttle to get away. <laughs> How much luck has he had in this game? Any other two tank destroyers other than the British ones, and they would have probably, well, they may not have killed him, but he would have been not feeling very well. But those things are so slow to turn around. Oh, one of them fired and missed, and that's pretty much the only opportunity they're going to get because pretty much his entire team are now closing in to fight over the scraps. Spots them again. Dodges them again. Oh, little power slide there. Yep, that missed. I don't think so, Tommy. <laughs> Not today. And now you've got plenty of other problems, which hopefully is going to keep you distracted long enough. Terrible aiming time on this 90mm gun, by the way. Come on. Come on. Aim it. Aim it. Oh, that's going to be a kill. Yep, that's a kill. And the AT6 is... Can he get the AT6 as well? That would be hilarious. Oh, he just put a big old hit into him. This could be the killing blow. It is! <laughs> you lucky son of a... Oh, I don't know. I do worry um, about the ELC AMX after patch 9.6, however, because... Well, you can see how long it takes to fully aim the gun on this thing. It really does take an age. And the, the accuracy nerf in patch 9.6 only really affects tanks that don't fully aim when they fire. Once you've fully aimed your gun, unlike that, <laughs> you get your standard accuracy. It's only when you're taking snapshots, when you're firing on the move, when you're not fully aimed. You know, the kind of thing that ELC AMX drivers do all the time, that the uh, the difference in accuracy is going to make itself felt. So I, I'm curious to know how, how ELC drivers, because that's basically the way you play this tank, you get you drive right up to somebody, get really close, and you don't even bother aiming, you just derp into them. 
pretty much like he's been doing all the way through this replay. So, if you do drive an ELC AMX, what's it been like for you after patch 9.6? Has that accuracy nerf actually affected you at all? Well, that was never going to hit. <laughs> but, ah, the gun was loaded. And, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a it's a 3001H firing APCR. Well, of course it is. <laughs> Why wouldn't you fire APCR? This tank has a oh at least seven millimeters of armor. Oh dear. And um, yeah, there you go. That's the only hit he's taken this entire game. Oh oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, let's not get cocky. You've got him spotted. All you have to do is not die. Which shouldn't be too difficult, given how many people are shooting at this guy, and you will get the spotting experience for it. Come on, team. You can do it. There it is. So that was the hell pig. You dirty little French tank driver. Next replay comes in courtesy of Megaflex 4000, and you're going to get a sort of edited highlight reel of this battle. He's pretty much just doing what you do in an AMX 1375. Taking advantage of opportunities, or putting yourself in the positions where you can take advantage of opportunities. He starts off here on Redshire by rushing forward to an early spotting position, and he's pretty much going to light up most of the enemy team as they cross that river. Here they come. But it's the same old story. Every time you're driving a light tank, you do a fantastic spotting job, and there's nobody on your team in a position to take advantage of it for you and actually do some damage. There's no artillery. All the other tanks that came at this flank are on the other side of the rise, and they're all too slow. Look at this. Look at these targets. Side shots on all of them. Nothing. <laughs> and he's got to resist the temptation, hard though it may be, to stop putting shots into the side of that AT-15 himself. And there we, there we saw one, one shot. That was it. Half the enemy team crosses the river, spots them all, lights them all up, side shots on all of those tanks. One tank takes a shot. And misses. <laughs> Light tank drivers. How do you put up with it? Well, anyway, about a minute later, he's going for a reload after ineffectually bouncing a couple of shots off the side of tanks that he should have been able to penetrate over on the ridge line in the centre of the map. And those guys look pretty heavily engaged. Almost looks as if their attention might be diverted by the big old heavy tanks in front of them. And this is pretty much what the AMX 1375 does. Hello, Mr. T-34. Surprise, it's me. And now, of course, the T-34 turns the turret around to deal with the new threat. And all of those heavy tanks come rushing right over the top. Oh, dear. How sad. Too bad. Come on, can he get the kill? Two shots left. There's another one. Ooh, probably not. No. Well, doesn't really matter. He got his money's worth out of that magazine. Uh, I think only one of those shots bounced. And, and that's what you do in the Amex 1375. You're, you're looking for opportunities like that to just wreak havoc with the enemy team. Now, if you are driving a light tank and a team that's at least semi-competent, then it's happy days, because you just wait for the heavy tanks to engage the enemy, and then you work your way around the flanks, and you do what light tanks do. But sometimes, sometimes you pretty much have to do it all yourself, and that's not easy in a light tank. Slightly later on in the battle, both teams are capping. The enemy team is putting up a vigorous defence of their cap. Uh, Megaflex's team isn't. But at least they have him. Now there are two tanks in the cap circle. Kills the right one first. And then resets the cap on the Yak Panther 2. Textbook. Couldn't have done it better. He was lucky the T-71 was a one-shot kill. Otherwise, he could have had problems. But now that Yak Panther 2 knows he's there, and that thing has a seriously dangerous gun. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh dear, he turned around. Oh, he's still turned around. And he's still turned around. And still turned around. Still turned around. He's not tracked or anything. <laughs> he's just sitting there. <laughs> oh, well. Well, you know, it's... <laughs> Got to take advantage of those opportunities. <laughs> ah, but Jingles, he, he didn't want to expose his flank to the Super Pershing. Well, all he had to do was pull back five metres and there was a farmhouse right, right there. He could have pointed the front of his tank towards... Oh, hang on. Oh, it's an A43. Oh, well. 
was an A43. Oh, it's a lover. Oh, and he still has most of his health. Okay, this is not good. This is very, very not good. Lover does have a slow reload, however, so he is able to get down into the uh, riverbed and then approach and attempt to spot this guy using all possible concealment. There he is. It doesn't appear to have seen him. Is this guy's turret? Is not his turret is not turning around. He's going straight for the super purging. All right, I'm trying to work the. Pretty bad gun depression. There's one, there's two. Um, hi, I'm an AMX. <laughs> there's a lot of this about today, isn't there? The One of the good things about the AMX 1375 is it has a very, very fast reload on that gun. It is one of the fastest reloading autoloaders around. Not as fast as the AMX 12T, obviously, but it's substantially faster than the AMX 1390. And he's reloaded, and he's set him on fire. Oh, he's taking a hit. He's taking a hit. Can't put the fire out quickly. Come on, come on. One shot left, one shot left. Oh, give me a break. Come on, Super Pershing. 30 damage. That's all you got to do. 30 damage for the team. Hooray. Well, they're not out of the woods yet. Far from it. The friendly Super Pershing only has 74 health. There's the enemy Super Pershing, and there's still a T-34-1 out there somewhere as well. And uh, Megaflex only has two shots left. That's probably the most important part. So he'd better use them wisely. Sneaking around into the bushes, away from his last spotted location. Super Pershing there, still looking down towards the friendly Super Pershing. There's one. Come on, for the kill. Two health. <laughs> two health? Are you kidding me? Seriously. Now he's out of ammunition. So he's got to rely on the Super Pershing on his team to kill two enemy tanks. At best, he can serve as a distraction. He can spot these guys, and that's pretty much it. He's now out of ammunition. So come on, Super Pershing. All right, you only have 74 health, but it's 72 more than the enemy Super Pershing. So we're going to spot him. There he is. He's still pointing his gun my way. Okay, he's pulled back. Now, that's going to give the Super Pershing on... Megaflex's team, an opportunity to move forward and try to get under that guy's gun. But, well, to be fair to this guy, it's not going to be easy. There's an awful lot of open ground he has to cover, and he is at least going for it. Megaflex moves forward as well. He's got to get eyes on that Super Pershing. He's, he's got to enable the friendly Super Pershing to get the first shot off. Would be nice if they knew where the T-34-1 was as well, but they don't, so worry about what you... There he is, there he is. Oh, crap. No. Oh, what are we going to do? Well, if it's stupid, but it works, it isn't stupid. Ram him. <laughs> <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from. <laughs> yes, he did just ram a Super Pershing in an Amex 1375, and just barely lived to tell the tale. But hold on, Ein Manitan Bitter, let's not start congratulating ourselves just yet. He's still got no ammunition, he can't survive another ram, and the T-34-1 still has to be dealt with. Normally this would be another case of defeat snatched from the jaws of victory, an utter heartbreaker, but this is of course a world of tanks random battle, so naturally the T-34-1 yeah, he's AFK. <laughs> of course he's AFK. What, why would he bother playing? <laughs> the enemy team are telling him, yeah, he's AFK, he's down at G3. I don't think Megaflex entirely trusts them, though. I've been caught out that way myself a couple of times. Oh, yeah, last tank on the team. Yeah, he's AFK. You don't need to worry about him. Ha <laughs> ha, surprise, it's me. Yeah, he's not fallen for that old gag. And so he gets an invader medal into the bargain. Yep, world of tanks. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you may even hurl. Take care, folks. I'll catch you next time.